Retrotech Ralph is proudly sponsored by my friends at One Click Print. However you want your prints, they offer quality and premium service on a variety of materials. Visit them at oneclickprint.com. Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. We're back on the bench with the Atari 7800. If you remember the last video, it works fine. We've got it all cleaned out, working absolutely perfect. A little bit worn in some areas, but it's absolutely fine and perfect. What I need to do is not so perfect, is that. We need to replace the RF modulator with something a little bit more human. So, what I've done is my friends at the future was 8-bit from sent I've paid for at least anyway but sent across the deluxe modulator the deluxe RF mod 4 it was probably for quite a few machines anyway but they do the instructions for the 2600 and 7800 I've always used the small little boards I've done one because they're cheap two because they work but I've never used this one the board is small which it is that big Stick on the back, yada yada, it probably says Futures 8-bit on there as well before I put that sticker on. But all this is exactly the same, it's got a tiny little resistor, diode, socket on there which isn't on the other one. However, you've still got the output and still got the input. All you need to do is wire four cables in like the other version and then on the back you've just got a standard, well you'd think standard, 3.5mm socket but it isn't. It's one of these with a four pin. However, it does give you all three. So it's about basically video, well, be video, audio, audio, earth. So it gives you all three for a standard composite mod. And then what you can do with this one's good thing about this, replace the RF modulator, stick this to the board. All you'll see at the back is this tiny little hole. You get your cable, plug her in, and then you play. But when you've not got it, it's the same as what it is now. It's very easily displayable. You haven't got, like, the 2600 big long coax cable dangling out the back. They at least did that and took that off. So what I need to do is get into this, remove the RF modulator, remove the parts that they show, but they do tell you. They do give you full instructions of what to do on all of the mods. So you've got 7800 PAL, which is the one I've got. The NTSC isn't. There are slight modifications. So what I'll need to do is RF modulator out, which I think I tried last time, but it's not its not too easy, but it looks easy enough. I really need to remove this, that Q9, is that a diode? Is that something else? I think that's a, oh, you get a screw in there. I don't know, it's a variable resistor or something. Resistor 62, resistor 32. So whatever Q8 is, I don't know, but we'll find out. Very similar to, I did a 2600 mod, the Vader mod, not long since. Um, you got two parts there, easy. One over here, one over here. That's as difficult as the mod looks like it is to be. I mean, like I said, you can use the same mod on other things. So, yeah. It's the same wires for this and the other one. It just, that's the one that I use in the four switch PAL. Remove, 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 remove. Wire, 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 wire. Same as. Virtually, anyway. So I'll get into this, get down to the board, and see. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and remove things before we start wiring them up. So, very easy to get into. One, two, three, four, five Phillips screws, the plus ones. Undo those, flip it over. Turn it, take off the lid. For me, it's easy because it's clean and it's not covered in goo. Um, Lift out the board, preferably from the back, and then out it all comes. Keep case to one side, unless you're modding, unless you're going to do something funky with these. Remove all the pins, which is basically get yourself a small screwdriver, re bend or twist all of these back up. I chose to not bend up all of these pins along the side, all of them, because usually they're twisted. I've done a couple, two or three, I think, one over here. It just makes it so it is in place, but it does mean I can get back into this whenever I want to. 
because these aren't getting sold anyway, they're just saying that staying as they are part of the collection. So there's three there, prize off the rest because they're just pointed up and holding in place. That's what my mod was on that capacitor which wasn't very good so that'll stay as is. I might actually mod that with some hot glue to be honest to keep it a little bit in place in case I knock it in the future. Take the top off, take the bottom off if you like. Yeah, we need to take that bottom off because it's going to be, we need to solder things to this. Leaves us with the board. So, with instructions here, da -da 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 -da, there we go and there we go. That's what we need to do. We need to unsolder this. I think it's these four pins here because they are not there, even though there's five. There is an R, was that 60? Oh, 69 there, yeah, that is there, but there'll be four holes I'll be taking off there. Um, looks like four corners, which is there, 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 which will come off. I don't think there's any resistors underneath this. Looks like there must, might have been a chip originally. Unless this is, no, this is not soldered straight through the board. This is a top cap which comes off, which can't because that's in the way. Removal of, what's Q8? Is that a diode? Ah, it is a diode, because according to here, we've got three pins. One, two, three, so it's that diode once removing, as you can see. This here, which is L6. See what I mean? There's like a copper, uh, carbon sort of thing in there. It's like a little coil on the side. That needs fully removing. We have got up here the second resistor, which is R62. That one's completely removing. And down here, Where's the fourth? There it is. It's the one with the cable off. The white cable goes to it here. It wants to be da, 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 this over here. So it is different to what's on. No, it isn't different because it's the same sort of things there. It's the third one down. So you've basically got this silver one here, two, three. One above on this one and the instructions, this little yellow little thing here. So remove all four of those and we'll crack on with this in a second. Right, there's the four components we need taking out. Yeah, that one's the L6, that's the Q8. And these resistors are R32 and R62. Now I need to attack the RF modulator. Won't be as easy, but not impossible, I don't think. RF modulator out. It was it wasn't impossible, it's just when you got these pins here, these pins are also holding the bottom case together from the top case, they're twisted round. So they've been put in on, on circular holes on here, held from shorting by masking tape, very old and quite sticky masking tape. <clears throat> so there we have it. If there was anything that was put on there afterwards or there's a modification you could do to this instead of putting the actual modification that we're about to put on then so be it but there are all your parts you need to take off easy now i just need to put them new ones back on now before we get on to soldering back on i need to put that on so what i'm going to do is remove the cable and i'm going to use that same hole because this area is now completely flat i'm going to show you what i'm doing so there is the original coaxial hole. If I put it so it's kind of the middle of the board and held in, the actual center is not there. So what I do is trying to put it as center as I can. If I do it too far over, it then goes into the hole, you can see. So I'm trying to get it just held in either side, just a little tiny bit. Again, may put some hot glue on this afterwards, depending how I feel. So that's good keep this at an angle so I'm going in forward socket first so I can line it up might not need to be perfect anyway but that's not bad I'm pushing forward to make sure that the board is touching the plastic so this is nice and clean now I'll put isopropanol all over this this should stick like a yeah like a bug on your windscreen. I'm not saying windshield, I'm British. So that's done. That should hopefully be done now. Lips over a tiny little bit, but when it goes in place, 
This shouldn't be a problem, so yeah, perfect. Now from the outside, all you see is that. Yeah, you can see everything inside. You always could, but you've got a whole long side of it, which is just absolutely nothing. So what the circle on the square means there, I don't know. It's a predecessor to the PlayStation. I don't know. So what we need to do is, right, get us cable. If you want to use the full length of the cable, please do so. It goes in that way. Yellow to the right. There you go, get it right, Ralph. Yellow to the right. So what I need to do now is wire up. Come to this. The R32, this will be out of, of the case, by the way. R32, the yellow cable goes to R32. So I can cut that short and wire that over here. The white cable comes down here to the other resistor. Second one, which is down to the right-hand side of R32. Yeah, because that's 62, that's 32, yes. And then on the RF1 section here, the black one goes into here. The number one, so the number one socket, and the red one goes above it. That is as simple as you can get. And to make it as easy and displayable afterwards, this is, um, this is definitely my first of many of these I'm going to be buying. There we go, soldering done wiring for the complete get you zoomed in a little bit just to show you exactly there apart from that red wire going just a little bit that's, you know, that's pretty much the same as the picture really <laughs> i'm quite impressed with that done sorted all i'm going to do is get this back back in the case get it plugged in see if she works now all done all back together again I'm gonna start, I'm gonna play Choplifter. I think before we played Asteroids, we didn't put the cartridge in there anyway, so. Ready, the AV socket, the AV socket in. The power cable is out. The AV socket isn't in. <laughs> okay, so power socket is in. The AV socket, just plug straight in. I've hot glued the board as well as putting the, the pad on the back of it, so to get a little more strength, so. Get this powered on, and to chav it up a little bit, just to remind me a little bit in the future, blue LED as well. Just in, well, yeah, you can see it quite well there. Just to remind anybody that is actually modified, they probably realised the modification anyway because like the cable that comes with it. I mean, the whole picture itself doesn't look that good, but um. Have a go. Oh. oh, what's the Atari bits on the floor for? I mean, I'm... Oh, okay. Can I crash this? Killed him then. I assume I have to get him back to base then and not just fill up. And land on the H will be good. This is not as easy as, it, as, it, as I'm making it out to be. Huh. There you go. So, working fine. Apart from the really annoying chip that's in there, but we're really working pretty well. It's pretty easy to do a composite mod on systems like this, with a kit like the, the Future was 8-bit stuff. I'm not... I, I do like them, they're good people, they're a very good um, yeah, composite mod to, to do, either either of them. So, yeah, pretty good, works perfect. So there we go, all done and sorted. Nice, very... To me, that's actually pointing because there's a little slight angle. That's actually blinding me. There you go. That's what it looks like. Kind of big blinding blue LED. But yeah, perfect. Absolutely spot on. Didn't think I'd enjoy the 7800 when I got the first, got it. But yeah, absolutely really do enjoy it. So take out RF, four pieces and uh, a green LED as well to put the blue in. And 
that's what you do. That's how you do a composite mod on a 7800. PAL, I don't have an NTSC, but it does look very simple to do for the NTSC version anyway. But like I say, they do have other ones as well, Future Project, but easy done. Thank you very much to them. Let's power off, chop, lift out, and board out. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you can help out best you can with the Patreon, with a, a, a join on YouTube, with a join, with a subscribe, with a thumbs up, with a comment, with a share, anything. Then you want to send something in so I can get it fixed. Anything and everything is very welcome here in the garage. So with that in mind, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.